Aquarius, you are next. Okay. Let's see. Definitely want to use my Aquarius deck if I can find it. Yes, I can. It is here. Oh, oh my God. What is wrong with me? Okay. <laughs> All right. So using two decks, guys, I'm going to pull the current energy and I'm also going to clarify what's happening. Hopefully we get a peek into the future as well, Aqua. All right, two of pearls in the reverse really wants to stick its head out. The moon in reverse, this is giving me Leo's, Leo's reading. Okay, two of pearls in the reverse. So you could be experiencing instability at this time or there has been recently in the past. You could be hesitating making a decision on something. What is this for Aqua? Mm -hmm. There's some sort of chaos in your energy right now. It could feel, all right, you could feel like everything is going wrong last minute. Um, keep moving forward, Aqua, with this Ten of Wands. Okay, this woman, she's like, obviously she feels burdened by something, but you can tell that she's gathering the strength to move forward. Also, she has a really nice butt, so let's look at that. But next also... Um, with the sun in reverse, there's uh, repressed emotions twice here. Okay, repressed emotions are twice. Um, you know, maybe maybe someone here is being tested about maybe speaking their truth, speaking up about something, saying something. Um, there's something about manifesting, right? Because you can you can want something all you want it, right? You can think that it's gonna really happen, but until you make it a reality in your reality, it's not yet a reality. Okay, so uh, let's just say you really want you really want a fried fish platter. Okay, so you're like, man, I could really use some fried fish and some sauce and some fries. And so you're just like thinking about it really hard. But until like you look at your bank account or look online for a recipe or look online for somewhere to order the um, fish and like let's say like you want to like go check to make sure you have enough money to buy the lunch so you look in your bank account you see that you do have enough money then you pick up the phone and then you call whoever it is that you want to order the fried fish from that's making it a reality okay so if there's if you're applying this to like love or work it's like you could need to say something out loud regarding a relationship or making plans or um doing something with work, you would need to start saying, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening. I feel like someone here, I don't know if this is you or someone you're dealing with, but it's almost like you're afraid to, to say that something might happen. You're afraid to make something reality because if it goes wrong, it might be your fault. Okay. Um, what else for Aqua? We're getting deep already. <laughs> like, the heck, Aquarius. Why do you guys do this to me? Oh my gosh. Okay. Can we please? Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, so we have the magician in the reverse. Okay. We got a devil. We have the ten of swords in the reverse. Ten, ten, ten of wands, ten of swords, new beginning, new ending, new ending, new beginning. Okay. The Ten of Swords in Reverse is giving me a new beginning. In your recent past, you may have had like a huge ending here with the Ten of Wands, okay? And with the Ten of Swords upright, I'm seeing that the Ten of Swords could have, uh, sorry, with the Ten of Swords in Reverse, it very well was upright maybe just recently or this week or something. But in your future, there is a resolution to the situation or it is happening now. Whatever it is, it's in your energy now, and it's there for you to manifest. It's there for you to grab and make your own reality. With the magician in reverse, I feel like you're you're either being deceived by someone right now, or I'm getting fear of manifesting a new future for yourself. I mean, you are an Aquarius, so you probably have someone trying to manipulate you because people 
people love, here's the thing about Aquarius is, okay, so people love you guys. They really, really do. It's just that they always think that you're playing games with them because as an Aquarius, you can be very like kind of flighty or like you just, you have a lot of ideas and you, and you like talking to lots of people. And a lot of people are threatened by that because this, that's this double energy right here. This is other people that are like, no, I want Aquarius to be mine and only mine. So they're like, mm, double energy, you know what I mean? And like, I, I need you to be aware of this. Like, don't let that shit happen to you, Aqua. Like, it's not worth your time, nor is it cool, right? It's not cool when someone tries to do that. Um, Page of Swords, I'm getting a message. But I don't like that it came out with a devil. That's weird. That's really weird. Three of Pentacles, five of Pentacles. Mm. There's someone working against you, for sure. There's three or more people trying to do this to your ass. I don't know why. Okay. Guys, I was having really nice readings today. Aquarius, why do you have to do this shit? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love you guys. I really do. You know, and this, you know, this energy could just be what you're thinking people are doing too. I've come to realize that could be a lot of what tarot is sometimes, right? So th uh, this, yeah, nine of pentacles. I feel like you're going to be just fine. All right. And I'm going to get into what I'm talking about in a moment here. With tarot, I am looking at it from a philosophical point of view. Whether it is, I think it could be many things. It can be the current energy, future energy, past energy, time is fluid. So it can be all three at the same time. It can also be what you are feeling inside or what your fears are. So I'm trying now to like look at these cards from a different point of view and read them as more inspirational about whatever your situation may be. Yes, there are or will be or probably are people working against you. They're trying to manipulate you. Of course they are. You're a beautiful Aquarius. Why wouldn't they want to? So... But you can also be suspicious of the wrong person trying to manipulate you. So please keep that in mind. You know, not everyone is really out to get you. You know, I cannot stop staring at this woman's butt. It's very nice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I got distracted. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> What's the two of pearls in the reverse? Okay, so you have a Leo in your energy here, and they're in the upright, and they're also under some sort of resolution here or certainty um, that with the Ten of Swords in the reverse, there's some sort of clarity coming in about or with this person. I feel like with this Two of Pearls, like, this is what it is. It's like, you could be, there could be a fear against deciding about this person. I feel like you feel as if they're a good person for you, you do like them, but you're concerned there might be something wrong with them or something that you don't see. Because you want to see everything about them. Because I'm getting that you see something in them. You see a future with this person. And I'm almost feeling like you want to, you want to confirm everything is as you think it is. because of how you feel. It's almost like you don't want to you don't want to mess your you don't want to make a bad decision. I feel like whatever it is, it could be money related. You could be worried this person like wants your money or wants will try and get money from you in some way form or fashion. Because I see, I see you look very seriously at stability here with the seven of um, pentacles. Like you're someone who you really want to make sure your investments grow. And this is also why you're looking at this person like this. Because you're like, maybe you want to know like, where is this going? You know, maybe for a while you guys have kind of been like, like a situation ship or friends or something and you're kind of like looking at them in a way where you're like is this possible I'm kind of just getting that energy but you're scared okay 
So what's the Ten of Wands? Yeah, it's this like concern and it's connecting the dots here. This is what this is, Aquarius. You see how my cards laid down right here? It's this Two of Pearls in reverse energy with not knowing what you're seeing or can't see. By the way, you could be seeing 222 this week. That's also a twin flame or soulmate type of number. But so maybe you're dealing with a soulmate. <clears throat> It's the Six of Swords energy connecting yourself to this person. It's like, how do I get from here to here? You can't see it. It's not clear. You're trying to figure it out. There's this like famous quote from like The Matrix. I think it was like The Matrix like, Reloaded or something. The Oracle was like, you know, we, you're not coming here to ask me what to do. You're coming here to ask me why you want to do what you want to do. And that's the question you're asking yourself, or maybe that's a question you need to ask yourself. Maybe the question isn't, how do I get there? The question should be, why? Why do I want to go there? And if, you, if the answer to why do I want to go there is, well, I love this person, or well, I really like this person, you know, whatever it is, then you don't need to know how you're going to get there because the universe will guide you along the way. Also, maybe just having a conversation with this person would probably help a lot of things. Yes, exactly. We have the seven of cups and the five of cups in the reverse. It's kind of like, it's giving me like, I know I have a way to get here. I'm just not sure which door to take. You're feeling insecure about this. Two of wands upright. I'm telling you, two, two, two is in your energy, guys. There, there are plans for the future that will make more sense soon, okay? Just right now, it's not going to. Okay, so what's the sun in the reverse? The sun in reverse, too, could just be like you can't see something still and you're a little, like, concerned about how this is... Oh, guys, the star... The star. Someone here could be in the public eye, but this is also really nice energy. Aww. Okay, so the star flew over the Six of Swords and the and the um, King of Wands, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, like I said. Uh, and there's you, Aquarius. So you could be dealing with a Leo, or Sagittarius, or Aries, or Scorpio. But there is hope. To the situation and it will come in the exact way you think it's going to come in um, on the positive side like let go of your negative emotions and thoughts about this situation right now because right now you need to be star energy which is hopeful actually planning for it actually realizing it that, that it might happen because it's meant for you with the star okay you need to keep that serenity within you go near water if possible Get more vitamin D. Drink more water, you know? So, the sun and the star. Well, the sun is a star, isn't it? That's really interesting. I feel like what this, one, what this is trying to say, too, is, like, clarity is going to come in really soon, sooner than you think. And I feel like you're worrying right now because you can't see it, and you, and you don't know. And you're kind of like, well, come on, like, can't I just know what this is, and... Maybe you just need to ask a question. Maybe asking a question is what you need to do. Seeing something about a pink dress. Okay, what's the magician in the reverse? More about confusion about this. What is this energy? I suddenly felt kind of off, guys. So be careful about who you surround yourself with right now. Okay. Yeah, there's five of swords. You're feeling attention. I feel like really strange now. You're feeling like I'm getting pretty serious anxiety. 
Spirit, can you confirm? Whatever this is, you need to walk away from this. So I don't know if this is a person or something. I feel like this could be a person that always makes you feel like this. You need to walk away from this person. It's all work, no play. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's not for you. Is this a person sending this energy to Aquarius? Yes or no, Spirit? Maybe, yeah. When you're sleeping? So you could be having weird dreams. If you sleep next to someone um, that you think is sending you this energy, they are. If you're feeling a certain way when they're waking, when you're waking up. Okay, if you're not, then this person is just sending energy at you from somewhere else while you're sleeping. I feel, I feel like they're trying to block your third eye, your sacral, and your root chakra. Okay, so make efforts in cleansing these three chakras. Meditate, you know, maybe dance a little bit for that sacral energy, create something new, could do some sort of creative project that will heighten your sacral energy. For root energy, I really get, you know, even meditation really helps with root energy or just going outside. You need to go outside in some sort of grassy area or a beach or something where it's like you can feel the earth, you can feel the earth breathe. You know what I mean? Yeah, confirmation. So anyway, what's this page of swords with the devil? There's the two of pearls, the two of pentacles. You could be juggling more than one person. Who does, who's this page of swords? Four of cups reverse, four of four. This is, yeah, whoever this is, Aquarius, um, this is devil energy. I feel like you know this. You know, you feel a certain way when you're around this person too. Th whatever this is, Spirit wants you to release it with the Ten of Wands in reverse. This is like, this is, you can, you know it's too much. It's like you have too many sticks in your hand and you can't hold this one anymore because it keeps falling out anyway type of thing. Um, you need to let that stick go. Just leave it on the ground, let it go. I feel like you're bored with this person anyway, but they are sending you a message here to try and control some sort of situation with you. This person could be very religious, okay? Okay. Yeah, this person wants to like fight you or something, or they're gonna send you some sort of fighting, fighting words. What's the devil? What's the devil? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's exactly what I thought. Someone's coming back to try and reckon, to reconcile with you or make their pain stop is kind of more what I'm getting. Um, I feel like this is a big, big, big no. Because they're showing up as the devil. You've released this, this situation already. There's no reason to go back. Yeah, because you have a new opportunity here with a soulmate. Six of cups. Page of wands, two of cups. This is like a new beginning with someone. It's taken a while to come in because this is, this is what you need to be focusing on. Okay. Can I get more on the double, please? Yep. Magician in reverse twice confirmed. This person is the one sending you the energy. Beware Aquarius of this person. This person doesn't really have anything going for them either. They're kind of boring. Like I'm just getting like... I don't know exactly why they're still here, but either way, Aqua, you know what to do, I'm sure. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.